Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a get ready with me. This is not a tutorial. I am not a know-it-all. I just know what works for me and my skin type. So I will tell you guys a simplified version of what I do to get ready every day. Um, I really kind of took down a couple of the products that I use because I want this to be really simple and I don't want to suggest, you know, 82 products when that's really not necessary. So um, I am gonna include a little skin prep. I already washed my face and now I am using this new Ola Hendrickson Hydra Barrier Nourishing Face Oil. I've only used it a couple times, but I really like it so far. I don't really have an opinion on this yet, but I still wanted to share that I'm using it. Treat Beauty Lip Balm and Sweetheart. This tastes like literally like the candy hearts. It's so good. And I just noticed that I have a new blemish coming in right over here. Wonderful. Great. All right. Now I do use an eye cream too, but I put that on right before I do my concealer. So let's go in with this elf no budge cream eyeshadow in the shade plateau it's a dark brown i love it so much it's five bucks and it is one of the best cream eyeshadows that i have ever purchased so i'm just gonna put that all over my lid and you do have to work fast with this so i just blend out the edge super quick and then move on to the other eye it is actually no budge, so that's why I'm working quickly. You know how some, actually like a lot of stuff will say, oh yeah, no budge, and then it budges, even after like five minutes, you can move it around. I don't need that to be perfect because I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of eyeshadow. So next, MAC Dazzle Shadow in Dreamy Beams. It's this beautiful chocolate brown glittery goodness. So I just put that on my lid and then I'll blend out the edges. I hope that the lighting isn't too bad, but I have this like LED mirror that comes in handy sometimes. I feel like I've realized over the last couple of years that I just don't really like a busy makeup routine anymore. I don't have the time or the patience for it. I would rather have some key products that perform really well, but that's just me. I see all these makeup companies coming out with new stuff and 99 out of 100, I just don't care anymore. First, I'm gonna tight line with this Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in After Dark. It's really nice to tight line. It doesn't move around. It doesn't kind of gather like a lot of other black eyeliners do in inner and outer corners. I've been using this for ages. Okay, now for other liner, I'm using Bold Brown Tattoo Studio from Maybelline. I've had a really good experience with these Maybelline Tattoo Studio liners. I've had a few and they all perform really well. Okay, now let's start the mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lush Paradise Mascara. I love this. And obviously this is not a review, but I will tell you guys that I actually do use Latisse. And so my lashes are not what I would consider 100% natural, even though it is my natural hair. I did have some help in getting them to be longer and a little fuller by using Latisse and sticking with it, so. I know with the Michaela situation with all of that, I was seeing some TikToks of people saying, 
you know, it's really not that big of a deal. Why do you people care? There's other things to worry about. And I guess what I would say to that is it can still matter to you and you can still care a lot about other stuff. Like I know that, you know, the world is just a really dark place right now. There's a lot of terrible, awful things happening on a daily basis. But that also doesn't mean that I can't care about numerous things at the same time. Let's do my complexion. I'm using Face and Body Foundation from MAC and I mix it with the Illuminating Primer from Laura Mercier and then blend it out. I apply it with my hands and blend it out with a beauty blender. That's what works best for me. Been doing it for years and so that's what I will do now. Less is more. In my opinion, when it comes to foundation, most people don't need a full coverage foundation. And that's my opinion. I see so many people wearing a full coverage foundation when they don't have anything that they really need to cover. I prefer a tint of moisturizer, a skin tint, even a medium coverage foundation mixed with a little bit of an illuminator and spot conceal if you have things like I do, acne scars, uneven skin tone. We all have a little bit of something that we wanna work on. Um, I just think a full coverage foundation ages you and that's my opinion. So I blend this out until it becomes tacky in my hand and then I'll blend it out with the beauty blender. Okay, so that is pretty much blended out. Now I'm gonna take a small amount of this CeraVe uh, Skin Renewing Eye Cream and put that under my eyes. I wanna let it set for about a minute before I put concealer over it. Now for concealer, again, I think less is more. So what I do is after allowing my eye cream to set for a second, I will go in with the um, Smashbox loves Becca because Becca is no longer in business, but their under eye brightening corrector in the shade medium. And I will take the smallest amount, like literally the tiniest amount and go under the eye. It's tough right now for me too, because I stepped up my tretinoin. So my skin is dry in places where it usually wouldn't be dry and it's a little peely, a little flaky. I usually can keep that under control, but it's definitely not foolproof and that's what I'm dealing with. So either way, it's all right. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna use the Ambient Lighting Powder and Diffuse Light from Hourglass. I take the smallest little amount because I don't like powder under my eyes. It used to drive me nuts when I would see the beauty influencers baking their under eyes. Like one person out of every 5,000 might need to bake their under eyes. And even that is being very gracious. Again, that's just my opinion. It's unnecessary. It ages you and not here for it. Before I do my bronzer, I'm going to do a little something under my lashes and I'm going to use a matte bronzer with this Refer number 13 brush. For bronzer, I'm using Old Faithful Laura Mercier Matte, Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Bronze 04. I've been using this for ages. I used to do a little bit of contouring with the Bahama Mama Matte Bronzer, but I've cut that step out and I'm still happy with the way my makeup looks. And I'm using a Refer number 22. And then uh, instead of traditional setting sprays, I am just using the Aven Thermal Spring Water. I have it in a big can here. It's great. Okay, moving along, I'm going to take the same L'Oreal Mascara and just put a little bit on my lower lashes. 
Okay, so my lashes are done. I'm gonna use a little bit of NARS Exhibit A blush. Ooh, I, I don't use this every day, but this is kind of the one product that I wanted to really share with you guys. The Violet FR Bomb Shine. This is a highlighter. I don't like usually liquid highlighters. I can just do without them. I don't really like stick light highlighters, but this one, you guys, is so different than anything else that I've ever tried. And what I do is take a little bit on my beauty blender and just stamp it in this area. Like for me, once in a while, I like to do no makeup day and just put just a tiny bit of mascara. I mean, I call it no makeup, even though there are some products involved. A little bit of mascara, some lip balm, and um, go in with a highlighter like that. It just looks glossy on the skin. It's not metallic or blingy or anything like that. I adore it. And what I usually do is go over it with a little bit of the House Labs Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter in Peach Quartz. This is the best highlighter that I've ever found. Um, like truly, it is so good. It looks like skin. It's not powdery or chalky. Literal perfection. Okay, so I reapplied some of my Treat Beauty lip balm after getting the foundation <laughs> off my lip. And I'm gonna use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3. This is the perfect nude lip pencil for me. It's not too brown, it's not too pink, it's not too mauve -y. I love it. My light died, so that's okay, we're almost done. <laughs> but the last thing that I need to do is just to go fix my brows. So I back home with the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I'll do that on both sides. And then I'll let it set for a couple of minutes. And then once the product kind of dries down a little bit, it's easier to get the brows to lay the way that you want them to lay. These also have, um, this also has fibers in it, which I really love. It's five or six bucks, depending on where you buy it. And I love it. So I'm just gonna wait for a minute. And then I think I'm done. Probably wasn't the best day to do this just because my skin is acting funny from my tretinoin, but that's all right. I know a lot of people like the Kosas Airbrow. I will not pay $20 for a brow gel. No way. All right, so that is it. Now I can go over my makeup again with a little bit of the thermal spring water, but I won't right now just because I'm just at home. I'm not uh, doing anything right now, but that could be a last step. So now I will fix my hair. I'll do that and then I'll be good to go. So I think I'm gonna title this video, get ready with me to judge people on the internet, just to set off some of the fans and stands that love to downvote my video 30 seconds after it goes live. It's the same like eight to 12 people that do that and I just get a kick out of it. I think it's really funny. Um, but either way, y'all are still helping my video as a reminder and I'm gonna continue to share my unsolicited opinion. I have quite a few videos planned for today and yeah, so that's the deal. I hope that you guys are well. Don't feel like you have to go buy any of this stuff. Y'all might have stuff that's similar at home. Um, but I would say if there was like a top three of things that I would suggest, it would be the Laura Mercier bronzer. The e.l.f. products are really good and they're affordable. That cream eyeshadow and the brow gel and the Laura Mercier Illuminating Primer is amazing to mix in with any foundation to manipulate the coverage and the kind of glow factor. I don't have an opinion on the Ola Henriksen oil yet. Oh, actually the Balm Shine, definitely grab that. That would be um, even better than the e.l.f. products, I would say. But either way, um, 
yeah, I hope this video was helpful to maybe at least a couple of you. I know that some of y'all had been asking for an updated get ready with me. So asking you shall receive. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.